Hey guys, River Raven Collects here, and today, if you can't tell, we're going to be looking at my spawn collection. So far, I've got six figures here, and more are on their way, but these are my first ones that I got, so let's check it out. So here I've got the first spawn that I actually bought. I found him on Facebook Marketplace for $20, I think it was. And he's actually from the animated Spawn series, so that's why he kind of looks um, not as detailed as other McFarlane figures. But um, yeah, I thought I'd pick him up because I've always uh, had a sort of obsession for Spawn, the character. I've never really read any of the comics before that, but um, for $20 I thought, yeah, I'll, I'll pick him up. And, yeah, because he has is that animated style, he doesn't have a lot of detail, but uh, he's got very, like, sharp lines like you would see in a lot of cartoons, which I think makes him a bit unique. I really like the line of animated figures as well. Uh, they're a little bit hard to find. I haven't even been able to find them on eBay uh, recently. But they are very different from the other McFarlane figures, but I think, you know, he's, he's different and he looks really cool. He doesn't have too much articulation. He can kind of move his arms up and down a little bit here. Uh, his legs don't move at all. But, uh, you know, he's kind of more, well, like most of the other McFarlane figures, you kind of just want to sit him on a shelf and not really play with him or anything. He's not really a toy. He's more of a statue. And I also, if I can get him off, I also really like this stand. I think this is really cool. I wish other figures came with a stand like this because I think it looks sick. And it's actually nice to have a stand for for a character like this. So yeah, this is the guy that got me into collecting Spawn figures. Up next we've got this big guy, Spawn vs. Eurozen, I believe it is. Eurozen? Somebody tell me if that's right or not. He's still in his box. I managed to pick him up on eBay. And he is my second figure that I've bought. Um, I haven't opened him up yet, but like I said, I'll be unboxing these guys in the future. So if that's something you'd like to see, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Uh, yeah, I am. A little worried about this figure because uh, we'll have a look here as you can see he's supposed to come with a like big blade that he's holding and for the life of me I just cannot see it in the box whatsoever um, it must be behind him or something because it, it hasn't been opened so it must be in there <laughs> It can't not be in there. Um, yeah. I think this could possibly be my favourite figure. Well, figure. It's not really a figure, it's more of a statue. Uh, I don't see anyone sort of playing with these or whatsoever. But, uh, yeah. I think he looks awesome. I can't wait to Get him out of the box and review him.
up next we've actually got four figures and that is because I bought them all together. So we've got, I don't know how to say that. Inguarantus, Inguarantus, Inguarantus and Tusk, Tuscadon. Um, I know I'm butchering that name. I should have looked it up how to say it. Here's an easy one though. We've got Medusa. We've got Hatchet. And last but definitely not least, we have Mel Bulger, which she looks, or he looks, sorry, awesome. So I looked it up and apparently it is Ignitus. That, that still doesn't look right to me, but anyway, Ignitus and Tuscadon. And this one is a bit of a strange one for McFarlane. I haven't really seen much of his other figures that look like this. But uh, yeah, I guess this is Ignitus. And he's like this little goblin creature and he rides the... Tuscadon, not pretty self-explanatory, I suppose, but uh, yeah, um, I'm really looking forward to getting him out and actually riding his beast. I'm looking forward to checking out all the pockets and stuff on the beast. I think that'll be really cool. I also think there is another version of this that I might have to pick up. I've seen the Tuscadon in like a red and Ignitus in like a greenish colour. So if that is true, I'd really like to pick that up and yeah, put them side by side and have a look at them. We've got Medusa here and she also looks awesome. She comes with two of these like miniature skeletons, which of course, you know, it's McFarlane. They look awesome and comes with a head full of snakes and that is really cool. They're all like bendable. They've got like a wire running through them so they're all bendable which is again just so awesome. She comes with like a staff snake as well as I think the uh, skeletons get two little axes with them. And yeah I just... I'm going to be very happy when I get these out of box and actually have a, a proper look at them and proper review. Next we've got Hatchet here and yeah when I saw him I thought yeah I just, I just gotta have him as well. There's a lot of figures in this line that are like that. He's, he's just so torn up and like ugly, it's so good. Uh, he's got a couple of faces that are like, I don't know what you can do with those. Like a couple of faces, he's sort of torn off somebody. He's also got a huge like spine and looks like hip joint, as well as a sort of flag thing that's covered in gore, as well as a shovel and a machete type thing. Surprisingly, he doesn't have a hatchet, even though that is his name. He's got some what look like lungs or kidneys or something at the top as well as a heart and yeah this figure is just so so ugly and gritty. He just looks so good. Uh, he's gonna look really good along the side of Gravedigger or someone like that. Alright lastly we've got Mal Bulger and yeah, they are so cool. Just these long, lanky arms with the massive claws at the bottom, as well as these massive feet. I'm assuming it's got massive feet to kind of hold them up. Because I think, yeah, they would fall over otherwise. Um, yeah, I'm not sure if they need to be like angled on their, their front arms or something because I don't see them holding themselves up too well but yeah 
He's just... They've just got that, like, ugly violator face, which looks so good. I'm, yeah, I'm really excited to get them out of the box. What's interesting about this one as well is they have, like, cuts across their skin, so I don't know if they've been in a fight with Spawn or something. But, uh, yeah, it just... It does break up the uh, brown a bit and just adds a bit of texture, which is nice. And it's really, like, the cuts are deep into the, the model. But, yeah. Another figure that I'm looking forward to opening. Alright, that's been a quick look at my Spawn figures so far. Um, I hope you guys have enjoyed. There's going to be more coming when I get around to unboxing these guys. And uh, yeah, I've got a little present for everybody that's stuck around so far. But before we get to that, make sure you hit that like button and the subscribe button for more videos. And now for the little present. So back here, I've got a couple of boxes and despite whatever it says on the side of the box, it's got something a bit different inside. Oh, if that wants to stay up for me. Stay. There we go. It is completely full of spawn figures. So, yeah. If you want to see these all getting unboxed, then please hit that subscribe button, and I'll see you next time.